Alright y'all, the moment of truth. I'm about to get on the scale. <laughs> Join me on my health and wellness journey with Weight Watchers. Hey everybody, welcome to Proverbs 3.8, a weight loss vlog. I'm Penny and I am currently on a Weight Watcher WW journey to lose weight and improve my health. So thank you for tuning in and watching. This week I'm going to do a little weigh-in. Um, I didn't actually get to go weigh-in in person because um, I woke up too late. So I had to do a virtual workshop and weigh in at home this week, but that's okay. But right now, I wanted to tell you about this circle bottle. These have been out for a couple of years. I know, I'm never one to like hop on a trend. I'm just, I don't have a Stanley Cup either. <laughs> but I wish I would have gotten one of these sooner because I've been wanting to try to get off the sodas and quit consuming so much aspartame and so much caffeine. I feel like that was affecting my blood pressure and my medication was having a hard time keeping it down. Also my heart rate. So getting one of these has been a game changer. So I um, just wanted to share that. This one is actually squeeze lemonade flavor. But um, it, they're really good. Like I was very, very surprised about how good they actually were. I was not expecting that at all. So, um, they have different gauges of flavor. I got mine turned all the way up because this flavor, um, sip is getting kind of low. So I have it on wide open. But when I first get it, I put it on like six because if you have it wide open, when you first put it on there, it's going to be like, whoa. <laughs> so, um, anyways, really has changed my water drinking game. I actually, the first day I got this, I drank too much water. I drank like 193 ounces, and that is way too much. And everybody was like, no, don't do that. You can like uh, dilute your sodium in your bloodstream, and that's not good either. So you can't have too much of a good thing. So um, anyway, I've scaled it back. I was drinking this like I used to drink the soda, which the soda had sodium in it. This does not. So... Um, even though I was drinking a lot of liquid when I was drinking the soda, I was still getting the sodium, so I was not getting that <laughs> same effect as I would if you drink way too much water. So anyways, I highly recommend these. If you have a hard time drinking plain water and you're wanting to up your water intake, I've officially not had a Coke Zero in like six days. Five to six days, something like that. I think six days. Anyway, several days. I can't even remember that's how long it's been. So, um, yay for the circle bottle. So anyways, let's get into this week's weigh-in. So as I said, I woke up late, could not attend my regular meeting because it's an hour away from my house. And by the time I woke up, it was actually like 10 minutes past when I normally would have left my house. And so, and I needed to get gas and everything. So I was like, there's no way. There's just no way I'm going to make it in time. So I contacted my Weight Watchers coach. And she was like, no problem. You can attend a virtual workshop and just wait, go ahead and weigh in and, you know, record it into your phone. It'll be fine. So that's what I did. I went to um, a virtual workshop. It such a hard time finding one because it's Easter weekend and a lot of them were just still gray. And I was like, oh no, am I going to be able to find one? So I finally found one that was still, you know, open and able to attend. So I did that one. Um, and they talked about some interesting things. Like they asked us questions about what had we implemented into our routines last week, which, you know, I had stated that, um, you know, I was moving more, which I've been working out with Grow With Joe. You know, I've mentioned Grow With Joe. I think I mentioned her last week. I know I've been talking about her on The Connect, which is like the Weight Watchers social media. Um, and also Leslie Sansone, the uh, Walk From Home. Those are really good and they're great beginner exercises. Grow With Joe is a little more intense than the Walk At Home. Um but both of them you get a really great workout i'm starting out with the one mile and then you can do two miles and so there's 
more intensities that you can move up to. I'm at the beginner levels on both of these because I don't want to overdo it because of my back and my hip and all that. So I'd be defeating the purpose if all of a sudden I couldn't move. So anyways, we talked about that. And so, um, and like, what were we going to do moving forward? Me, I'm continuing to drink the water. I'm trying to continue to kick the soda habit. I do not want to have soda in my life every single day. Like I was doing, that'd be all I drink. So to my weigh-in, when I got on the scale, um, Saturday morning, this is now Sunday morning when I am telling you all this, um, I got on the scale Saturday morning and I was like really surprised. I had a weight loss of 1.2 and I'll put it up on the screen right here, which has a total loss for me since I started. And this is my 19th day. Um, but yesterday when I weighed, it was 18 days. I had lost a total of 11.4 pounds, which is not bad at all to lose 11.4 pounds in 18 days. And my weight loss for this week was 1.2, and I was a little shocked because I'll tell you why. I always weigh in midweek just to keep an eye on my weight. It keeps me accountable. It helps me to know that I'm doing the right thing. You know, it's just something that I do. I don't record it in my uh, Weight Watchers app, but I just, you know, for my own self, you know, I'm, I may write it down or something like that. But I only record, this is how I do it. You can do it however you want. I mean, you can record your weight every day if that's what you want to do in the app. But I only record it when I go for my official weigh-ins when I have the workshops. That's what I put in the app. To me, it's just easier to do it that way. But anyways, I weighed on Tuesday. I was like, I'm just going to do a little midweek weigh-in. I usually do it Tuesday or Wednesday. And when I weighed in on Tuesday, it was showing that I had a three pound loss from Saturday. And I was like, wow, I wasn't expecting that. You know, like I was not expecting a three pound loss because I lost 3.2 last week. So I was like, this is nuts. You know, like how am I losing this much? And I even got back on the scale like at least two more times just to make sure it wasn't a fluke because... I have one of the cheaper digital scales. It's like one of those $20 scales from Walmart. And I was like, okay, what if it was a fluke? So I got back up there on the scale and it said the same thing again, which it was weighing me in at uh, 261.6. I was like, all right, yay, you know, great. So I was like, I must be right because it keeps saying the same thing over and over. Well, then Saturday morning when I weighed in, and plugged it into my phone, it was showing a loss of 1.2. And I was like, wait a minute, what happened? <laughs> Why did I gain weight from, <clears throat> you know, the midweek weigh-in? So, and I know that's natural for your body to fluctuate like that. That's going to happen. Um, so I'm not just extremely worried about it. But if it keeps happening, if I keep going up, I'm keeping an eye on my weight. I'm actually going to weigh like every day for the next few days. And if it's not going down and going up, then that's going to be a concern to me simply because, um, you know, I have heart related issues that run in my family. I've had two sisters to pass away from heart disease. My dad passed away, uh, due to complications from heart disease. So, um, if I keep accumulating fluid and the, the, the weight doesn't go down, then that's going to prompt me to go to the doctor. Like, I'm going to nip it in the butt really quick. I'm not going to let it just continue on and find out what's going on. I don't think it's going to be a problem because it is natural for you to fluctuate in weight. I do know that. And it can even fluctuate as much as like two pounds, you know, in, in one week or whatever, or day to day. So um, I'm not extremely concerned about it at the moment, but if it keeps going up, that's going to be the the cue for me to be concerned. So I just wanted to share that with y'all and just let y'all know what's going on, do my weekly weigh-in. I'm also going to start uh, one day this week. I think I'm going to do a grocery haul with you guys because I don't want it to just be weekly weigh-ins and maybe I'll do like a clean with me, like a cleaning motivation. You know, that's good activity. And who doesn't need to be motivated to clean? I know I like to watch videos like that. And it really gets me motivated. And then I start looking for things to clean in my house. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to start doing stuff like that. Because, you know, I don't want to be boring where it's just me 
check it in every week. Going, well, I weigh this this week, you know. So um, I'm going to start sharing some recipes because I had talked about that on the beginning about doing recipes. So I'm going to do my grocery haul. And then um, some of the things that I get is going to be some of the White Watchers recipes that um, I have access to. So I'm going to be sharing that here on my channel. Um, so yeah, look for those types of videos to be coming up. And I thank y'all for being here with me on my journey and uh, helping me along. Leave a comment. Also, you can let me know in the comments below what type of content you would like to see me do. Do you think that the clean, the, you know, the motivation in cleaning the house, you know, would that be good? Uh, like I said, I'm going to do recipes and grocery hauls. But if you can think of anything else that you think might be good to do on my channel, I also has some topics weight loss related topics and Weight Watchers related topics that I'm going to be doing as time goes along. So um, yeah, great things ahead for the channel. So I appreciate y'all being here with me on this journey and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone. Join me on my health and wellness journey with Weight Watchers.